and from the strategic wartime base of Wewak in New Guinea are two and a half thousand square miles of comparatively unknown territory. Telephonen is headquarters of the administration in this area, New Guinea's most remote patrol station, whose history has been marked by treachery and savagery. Now, Movietone's camera brings you this first and exclusive story inside Telephonen. Patrol station headquarters, where nine whites bring health, religion, and law to the savages. Assistant District Officer David Wren at the left, and Patrol Officer Jeffrey Booth represent the administration. Theirs is the job of winning primitive natives from the ways of violence to useful and peaceful occupations. Singing as they go, these hardy carriers use a latticework of light timber to support a huge log headed for the sawmill. A government hospital has been set up, and an average of 60 patients are examined each day. Medical assistant in charge is Bernie Gobel, who is assisted by native orderlies. Much is done in this way to foster friendly relations with the people. Recent tribal fighting in this area has made it necessary for regular patrols to visit the surrounding villages, though the prime object of this party is to take a census. Figures so far compiled show that approximately 17,000 tribesmen live in the Telephone district. The village to be visited has had little contact with white men, so the party is armed, just in case. The patrol moves cautiously into the village, the natives showing no sign of friendship. Contact is made with the local chief through an interpreter and arrangements made for the census. Curious, telephone and women look on, first signs of friendship. Taking of the census begins and details of the tribesman's family are noted. The man's rather spectacular nasal adornments are cassowary quills, believed to imbue him with the much admired fighting qualities of the bird. Telephomans have an ingenious method of disposing of an enemy, a form of sorcery called sanguma. This is the first demonstration ever given to Europeans and is performed by six convicted murderers. Pieces of wire about four inches long are forced into the body of the victim who is first overpowered and battered into unconsciousness. Then the skin is worked over, leaving a mere pinprick which quickly heals. Five or six days later, he dies, apparently without cause. To his people, this is black magic. The job of bringing civilization to these primitive people is a difficult and dangerous task. But to the patrol officers who risk their lives as they probe deeper into the unknown, it's a worthwhile job in the cause of progress in New Guinea. 